Hey you guys, welcome back to Angel Angela and on this topic, I wanted to talk about how narcissists are constantly always talking about people. And the narcissists, you guys, they are constantly talking bad about people. These are not happy people. Look, it doesn't matter how much confidence the narcissist tries to show you. It doesn't matter if they walk around with their noses in the air. It doesn't matter if they're physically attractive. They might be physically attractive, but guess what? They're constantly talking about other people. They're constantly talking about other people thinking it's making them look better. They think it makes them look good. And this is why some of the most attractive narcissists fail at life. A lot of opportunities they get, they get by chance because there's people willing to put up with it. But a lot of people aren't willing to put up with it in the long run. This is why you could be beautiful, but if your heart is ugly, if you're an ugly person on the inside, it will start manifesting People will start to see your facial expressions. They will see how you talk to other people, how you look at other people, how you view other people, how you talk about strangers, how you're constantly saying things about people out loud like they can't hear you. You know, it's like it's like people on the Internet who just talk about people. They say whatever they want under under these comments you know, they judge your relationship, they're judging your family, they're judging your children, they're just judging and judging, they're making up assumptions about you, they're making assumptions about the people around you, they're overanalyzing certain people, you know, why is he with her? She's not even that attractive, if she was able to get with him, I know I can get with him. If he treats her nice and she's not as attractive as me, I can take her, I can take him away. Narcissists are so disrespectful and I'm saying it because I've I've been through it, I've seen it, I've it's happened to me. You know, um one time I went to a concert and me and the narcissist were standing in this VIP lane for the concert so when you're VIP and you go to a concert you're usually going to be right in front of the stage and when I was in this line it wasn't a lot of people we were literally next there wasn't a lot of people because first of all um once you get your your badge and your um your band or whatever um they take you they take you all the way up to the front in a um in one of those golf carts, you know? So the, the line wasn't long for the VIP lane. And this gay, this gay narcissist man and his female friends that were clearly on drugs, drunk, whatever. But I could see it in their eyes. It was very demonic. I was looking right into his blue eyes and it just gave me this feeling of you're demonic you're about to do some bullshit your your gay ass is about to do some bullshit i see that narcissist that narcissism in them like like girl i could take your man you're a whole man you're a whole man looking at me like i can take your man and i felt the energy and um the gay dude just ended up cutting in front of us. And I'm talking about there wasn't no line, you know. So when it was our turn to be next, I cut right in front of him and went to the front. Like, I don't know what kind of shit you're on, but I'm not playing these games with you. So I went to the front. I'm not thinking about the narcissist. I'm not holding his hand. I don't really care at this point. I'm not, I'm not yelling or anything. I'm just speaking through my body language like you tried to cut me and I'm just going to cut right in front of you now that I'm next and I'm going to interrupt you while you're talking because you weren't even next. I'm going to act like you're not even there, like you're invisible because that's how you're acting like with me. You know, you're acting like I'm invisible. So 
I'm going to do the same to you. And you know, you can't go tit for tat with a narcissist. But at that moment, I was so frustrated. They basically won before be, because that was their whole motive is whether you get loud or not. I'm still going to get you angry. I'm going to get you to act out of your character. And this is going to make me escalate my behavior. So when I did this and I was talking to the ticket people about, you know, our, our VIP passes, um, the dude ends up having his female friends get around the narcissist that I was in a relationship with. And one of the girls that was extremely drunk grabbed the narcissist's hand like now they're they're all over the narcissist you know now they're they're trying to they're trying to get with the narcissist right in front of me because they figured I I pulled myself away from my relationship and now they're starting something they want to see if the narcissist has my back and because the narcissist didn't get involved because first of all he didn't want to get involved with women and then he, he doesn't want to jump on and, and say anything to a gay man but he's still a man even though he he's trying to act feminine and he's dressed in a feminine way he's still a man so that was like the strike too and then i looked at the narcissist's hand when the girl grabbed his hand and he didn't pull his hand away quick enough meaning that the narcissist was trying to antagonize me right along with them so this is what I say with the narcissist. The narcissist doesn't protect you and narcissistic people, they they do things out in public on purpose to get attention from you. You know, um, there's times where I could be out with family or a friend and a narcissist will just walk up to us and start talking to us and try to triangulate us with other people in the room you go to a restaurant or a bar they're trying to triangulate you with other people they're, they they're acting like your friend you know they act like oh you know we're regulars here so they start acting out because they're regulars they start acting out and now they're triangulating you they're befriending you and then they're walking up to a new supply a new person they want to talk to and now they're telling the new person that you said some bad things about them or you critique you critique that person about their hair, what they have on, their makeup. You said something about them that you know you didn't say. Because the narcissist, see, they befriend people by always gossiping and, and, and talking bad about people. So they'll say that you were talking bad about someone in order to befriend people. That's why you have to be careful with people who are constantly, you know just running their mouth about people and, and you know um, gossiping to you about other people because most most likely it's them most likely it's them who who started it it's most likely it's them who made who made that up you know to get you going <laughs>